Hey guys, welcome back to Mommy Homemaker. My name is Gabby and today's video is all about my son Orion and his bedtime routine. So stay tuned and I will show you how it goes. So this is the routine that we do every night and by sticking to this routine, we're able to get a good night's sleep. And the first thing that I do is I pull out a bottle and a bottle warmer. I typically give Orion four ounces before bed, but this night I only gave him two because I had nursed him right before this. And I feel like this helps him to have a full stomach and really sleep through the night. So while the bottle is warming, I take the opportunity to get everything ready for the next morning. I pull out the bobby, which I'll need to nurse the next day, and I put my suction milk catcher um, in a handy place for the next morning. And this is a great item. I strongly recommend it if you're a nursing mom. I'll have it linked down below. And then I pick a bedtime story. Tonight we're reading about a police officer. And then I'm going to grab his sleep sack. I really liked the Halo sleep sack while we had it, but now we're just using one that I got at a like mommy thrift store and I just get that all open up and ready for him so I can just put him right down in it when it's time for bed and then I pick a little nightgown or some pajamas for him to wear and I put them at the changing table so it's right there ready when I go to change his diaper later on. to give Orion his bottle. I give him about four ounces every night, like I said, to give him a full belly to get him through the night. But through the rest of the day, I pretty much just only nurse him. And uh, he does get a bottle sometimes if he needs from his dad, or if I'm not there to give it to him, he will get a bottle. And this is actually the milk that I caught in the morning from that milk catcher. I don't leak a whole lot, but with having that little milk catcher, it um, it's like having a little pump while you're nursing. It's really great. I burp him, and I read him his bedtime story. And I think it's really important to read him at least this one book every single day. And it's really part of the whole thing. It helps him to wind down. And then I give him a fresh diaper. And we use Loves and we use Pampers right now, and I always put the Pampers on him right before bed because I help, think it helps him get through the night without needing a diaper change. And this is the hardest part of my whole night is when I give him that hug and that kiss and I say goodnight to him. I feel like I'm saying goodbye. It's just it's the sweetest moment of my day. And then I put him in a sleep sack. And then I sprinkle him, which is something that my mom always did when I was little. This helps keep all of the good dreams in and get rid of all of the bad dreams that he might have. And then after that is lullaby time. I usually sing Rockabye Baby and I sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And I usually have the light off for this, but I had it on just so you guys could see. And that's just about it. By doing this every night on a consistent basis, it really helps him to get a good night's sleep. He doesn't always go to bed like the moment I walk out the door or fall asleep the moment I walk out the door, but he usually does fall asleep within about five to 10 minutes. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more great videos like this one. We'll see you next